I'm a huge fan of just going for it. You know how sometimes you get an idea for something, you're like, maybe I should put out this offer. Maybe I should do this mastermind. Maybe I should launch this. Do it. Like, honestly, what is stopping you? I know that having a business plan is cool. Um, Okay, never mind. Actually, scratch that. No, I don't. I think that you should know where you're going. Know who you're helping. Know what your mission is. Know what the vision for your life and the trajectory of your work is. And then follow the inspiration. Anyway, this is my opinion. Over the last eight years since I took my business online and realized I am a creative genius. I don't have to sit around and wait for a business plan to unfold. I can do and say anything I want in my business and it will work because I am excited about it, because it is of highest service to people that I say yes to my own inspiration. So if you are sitting on the fence right now, you've had this idea, it has come to you, I want you to remember that is a gift. Your creative expression is not only yours. For some reason, you got that idea. You got it. Someone else could have gotten it. But why did you get it? Because it's meant to be brought to life by you. This is what I believe. And so when you're making decisions about your business, I want you to ask your, I want you to ask yourself, am I excited about this? Is this something I want to do? Because if the answer is yes, I don't believe you can go wrong. I really don't. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and say, anybody who tells you that you have to have a business plan and you shouldn't stray off of it and you should, you know what? Bless them. But that's what works for them. And what I'm saying to you right now is what works for me. But if it resonates with you, if in your body right now you hear me saying yes to your creative expression, yes to you saying yes to you, if that feels good in your body, then that is in alignment. We don't have to always use our heads in business just because in the past, in the old paradigm of success, Business was stuffy. I mean, business in general comes from a long line of being stuffy in in terms of how it's been mainstreamed. We think of a white dude in a tie, okay? And that is so freaking far from who we are. We are mothers, we are fathers, we are neurodivergent. We are free-spirited. We are creative. We get to choose that success is meant for us and that the pathway to becoming well-known, to becoming more successful is built on however the fuck we decide it needs to be built. And I, for one, have decided that when I get a creative idea and it lands in my body and it feels good, it feels exciting, it's a yes. It's a yes. And why not? I have literally built my first six-figure business online was because I just had an idea as I was walking. I was literally taking a walk and I got an idea for Rock Your Videos. And I said, hmm, Well, let me just explore this. So I went home. I got out my notebook. I wrote out the entire outline for the program in 20 minutes. And I said, well, I'll be damned if this is not meant to come to life. Who am I to argue with creative God and say, oh, mm, but it doesn't fit into the plan that I had? What? No, ma'am. New plan. I'm launching Rock Your Videos. I launched Rock Your Videos and within 10 months had scaled to $150,000 in my business for the first time ever. Every single year I'd been an entrepreneur for the over a decade before that, I had made $30,000. And 
absolutely I attribute it to one, the potential that lives online, that you can scale something, that you can go beyond just seeing someone one-on-one or in person. The potential is there. And because the potential is there, it is coupled with creative flow and creative energy. And that flowed through me. And I captured it and I said yes to it. And I created it on the physical level. That was the transformation. It was the saying yes. So I ask you right now, what do you need to say yes to? What are you open to saying yes to? And if you don't have a creative idea right now, just the willingness to say yes, just the willingness right now, if you can sit with yourself or stand or walk or drive, whatever you're doing, and feel it in your body that you are open and available to creative energy to come through you, That is the only yes you need right now. I am open and available to creative energy to come through me. I am willing to take action on it. I am willing to express it. I have the courage. I have the ability. I have the skill. I have the willingness. I believe. How does that feel? Do you feel it right now? Do you feel it in your body? Because Now, as this next idea comes to you or one you already have, it's fertile ground. Fertile ground to moving something new and exciting and potent into the world. And isn't that why you're an entrepreneur? Isn't that why you cannot work for someone else? You cannot go to a stuffy room, desk, cubicle, environment, mindset. None of that stuffiness is for you and you already know that. So allow, expressive, ex, allow, there's a new word, allow creative expression to come to you, to flow through you and co-create with it because that is what it is meant for. And because you have said yes to entrepreneurship, this is the next yes, honey. I cannot wait to see what you do with this. I want to see. I want you to do a post. I want you to tag me in the comments and say, hey, Jaya Rose, look what I did. This is my creative expression. I am saying yes. And I am going to say yes right back to you because I am supporting you in this. And beyond me as one individual, Creative expression is supporting you. It is always available. The question is, are you available? And that could be a decision right now. In fact, I think you've already made it and I think you already know. And that is why our session is done for today. I'm so glad you were here. If you resonated with this and you know someone else needs to hear it, share it. Share the love. You are a gift. This is a gift. Let's be generous. And if you absolutely really loved it, feel free to leave a review. Other people would love to see that you loved this. And thank you so much in advance if you do that. All right. I'll see you next time.